Sound Guy here, and in this video, we're going to be going through the game settings on console. So I'm on PS5. I do believe this is uh, applicable to the Xbox players and uh, PS4 players. Uh, the Some of the buttons might be a little different for Xbox players, but the menu should be the same. So we're here on Elm Creek on a new game. You might recognize this. This is pretty much where you start off. All the game settings actually are in default mode at the moment. So let's take a look at it. You press your options button and it's going to pull up this menu in here. And what I'm going to be talking about is game settings. And we're going to go through all of these in uh, as brief and quickly, but uh, to explain what each one of these do's, do's does. Game settings, uh, the first one, pause game. Well, that's pretty simple. If you press that, the game is paused and uh, your time won't go, go past. Everything is basically paused, but you didn't exit the map. So if you have to step away for something and you have things going, but you still want to stay here, uh, that's what you do. And then you just press your X button and you are back on, uh, you're back running. So my game save here you can rename your particular game save so that uh n e y done r2 and there we go the name uh you can change the name of your save so if you have a bunch of different saves you can name them there auto save interval so now this every 15 minutes um if well it's a little bit uh, so you can set this to off which i usually have it and then you can manually save by down the bottom left corner you can press the square and it will automatically and you can manually save it like that when you press the square so now some of us like me i like it off because if you have it on um, on one of these others intervals of 5 10 or 15 um, it's not like it does automatically save every five minutes, but if you go past five minutes of playtime and then you go back into the menu, it will save it. So every time you go into the menu, it's going to save your game. At least that's what it's been like in my experience. But um, yeah, so that's that's that option. Now we have time scale. It's 5x by default. That means time, real time or time in the game goes past or goes by five times faster than in real life. So for every minute of real time, five minutes goes by in game. So you can turn this to real time, which is actual time for time. You can do half time where for every minute in real time, only a half minute or 30 seconds goes past in game and then of course you can to do two times three times five times six times ten times 15 30 60 120 240 360 if you do 360 time goes by quite rapidly and um, sometimes you want this uh, if you want to fast forward to a particular um, time so I usually keep it on real time and then yeah so all depends on what you want to do or how fast you want time to go by economic difficulty easy normal and hard what does this do well easy normal and hard basically that will determine your sell price so let's see wheat uh let's go back here and we got um oops wrong men general settings there we go um sorry game settings let's say easy so easy and we go up here wheat is 842 just right now 842 so let's go back down and go on normal and then look at the, the sell price and now we got 505 if we go back down and change it to hard now we have 280 so you see how the prices change so depending on how hard or easy 
you want or how much money you want to sell crop for that's anything you sell basically any item that's sold that will affect the price so if you want to uh, have a challenge set it to hard if you just want it kind of in the middle set it to normal if you want it uh, if you want to have a bit more of an easier time of it then well set it to easy now the last or the not the last the last um option here is traffic allow ai traffic vehicles on road on or off so on this uh this road does not have a lot of traffic on it at the moment but as you can see out here we have traffic moving along here we got a car coming along here now if you are like me and um you like to uh move large traffic around or large vehicles and find some maps vehicles are much more annoying than others uh, you can turn traffic completely off and the cars will completely disappear and there will be no traffic whatsoever and if you do that all the traffic all the cars on the road will disappear and you will not see them moving down into seasonal growth or seasons so seasons is a base game um uh, feature of farming simulator 22 what does this all mean seasonal growth yes so that means and what that means is we if we look at um, here crop calendar <clears throat> that if you have seasons turned on that means you can only plant um, certain crops at certain times of year if you look here the green areas or the green months are when you can plant those types of crops and the the orange colors are the uh, time period in which those crops can be harvested so if you do this then um, if you have seasons turned on then this is the crop calendar that you have to follow now if we go back down into our settings there we go um, days per month so if you have seasonal growth on yes that applies if you go to no then your seasonal calendar goes away because well you don't have you can plant or you can plant uh, crops anytime you want without anything uh, without any restriction now if you put it to paused I would not recommend putting it to pause because um basically nothing grows if you plant something nothing will grow no matter how how um how many months go by nothing will grow nothing will will come to ready to harvest or anything so either yes or no is basically uh what you want to choose here well we're gonna leave it on yes for now uh, because the next option here seasons option is days per month you can have one day where if you um, one day months means this today is August if I go and sleep tomorrow is going to be September and I will show you here if we sleep till nine o'clock and when I wake up it will be September so literally one day is one month uh, things happen quite quickly you plant a crop you go to sleep you wake up the next day the crop will have um, sprouted already and if you have withering on or seasons turned on uh, your crop might wither too if you haven't harvested it and as you can see here now this wheat has withered and that means you it is useless you have destroyed your crop now uh, that's what happens with uh, with seasons if you uh, if you have seasonal growth as yes you can if you leave your harvest uh, ready to harvest crop out too long it will wither and you will basically have to cultivate it in and replant now days per month you can have up to 28 28 days per month which is basically the shortest month uh, out of all the months but, <clears throat> but 
if you set it to that, literally, you have to sleep 28 times for one month to go by. So, depends on how fast you want things to happen or how much you have to do. You can set this at anything between 1 and 28 days. I prefer one day a month because I like the things to go by fast. Some people are two or three, but it's up to you. Fixed visual month. Off means whatever the month that shows up on the top right corner, September. The, the trees, the leaves, the, uh, the, the weather, everything will happen according to what the month says up there. If you sir, turn that to, uh, if, you don't, if you don't want that to happen and you want uh, to pick a particular month, so maybe August, every single day will be August. If you want, uh, if you don't like that, you want November, you can pick November and every single day will be November. Now, if you pick a month, say like November or January, um, the uh, period of light and dark are adjusted according to whatever month you pick. And if you pick uh, pick January or February as a month, your daylight time during the day is quite a bit shorter. As you can see, it has adjusted and now the sun is quite a bit lower in the sky. If I go back to uh, August, the sun will be much higher in the sky because you have a lot more daylight in August. So that is um, that is what's up with that. Snow on or off, you can if you don't like snow on the ground at any time, you can turn that completely off and it will never snow. Crop destruction, so crops and growth. Crop destruction, what is crop destruction? If you have that turned on and you, uh, let's turn our help window on, actually. That's for a different video, but for now, uh, if you have crop destruction on and you drive over your crop, whether it's withered, growing, or whatsoever, it will dis get destroyed. So even if you're harvesting and if your harvester right here, and you are, are maneuvering your harvester to turn around or something, yeah, you're going to destroy your crop. Now, there is a way to prevent that with some vehicles. Some vehicles offer a narrow tire option. We'll show you that small tractors. Let's see, I think it is, uh, which one? The Lintrack, I do believe has a, uh, narrow tires see that under wheel setup narrow tires if you have narrow tires on a tractor and your implements that you are pulling it will not destroy the crop so that is just a little tip there about crop destruction back to um crop destruction so if you don't like that or don't want to lose that you can turn that off period periodic plowing required off or on what is that? Well, uh, that is actually up here. So here is our field crop types. If we go over to um, here, soil composition. No, note that there's a weeds, fertilize, fertilized, needs lime, mulched. So what's what's the deal with crop destruction? Well. If you have it turned off, you don't need to ever plow your fields. Basically, that's what it means. Now, if I turn that back on, if I turn that to on, periodic plowing required, and we go back into here. Now, now we have the option, see notices, needs plowing. If we turn that on and turn all the others off, how do you do that? Well, you press your X button to turn on or off if you want to see those. As, as you can see here, these are all red, so it now says that you must plow these in order to get a better yield for your crop. So that's what that means on the, that setting. Field info, off or on, shows the information about the field. I'm sorry, that's the wrong menu. <laughs> 
Um, we're back into game settings. Yes, periodic plowing. Fieldstone on or off. Again, that is um, if you want stones to appear when you plow or cultivate, you have that on. If you don't want to deal with rocks or stones in your field, turn that off. Lime required on or off so um, if you have that on then every so often it will require you to spread lime on your fields if you don't want to spread lime on your fields then turn that off weeds do you want have a realistic weeds showing up and then you have to spray them in order to get your best uh, the the best um, yield from your crop or do you want them turned off? You can turn weeds on or off. That's pretty simple there, on or off. Vehicle control, dirt. You can, affect, you can change how much dirt accumulates on your vehicle. You can have it off where it will never get dirty. We can have slow where it slowly gets dirty, normal or fast. It's up to you how you want to, uh, uh, to look at your vehicles if you want to have to wash them every once in a while or never. Uh, the next one is important automatic engine start the default is on what does that mean when you get into a vehicle it will automatically start when you get out of the vehicle it will turn off now this i find highly annoying for a number of reasons and uh, one of the reasons is if you have say for example a wood chipper attached to a tractor and it needs to be powered by the tractor and you get out to put wood in the wood chipper the tractor turns off and the wood chipper will turn off just for example or any other kind of implement that you want to keep running so to prevent that turn the automatic engine start off so when you get in it it's not going to start. It's not going to go anywhere. How do you start the engine? L1, sorry, R1 and square will start your engine for you. And then even if you get out, it will still run. Now, how long will it run? Well, it, it will run, uh, run uh, indefinitely if you're close to it. However, if you get far enough away or get into another vehicle, for long enough the uh, it will shut off after a certain period of time how long it's depending on how far away or how long you've been away from it but it will eventually turn off by itself right stop and grow go breaking well if you turn that off you have to actually well I always leave it on and what does that mean well, that means that it will automatically, when you press your accelerator or your, so your R1, actually that's the, uh, your R2 to accelerate and L2 to stop and reverse. So that means it will just automatically go forward anytime you press your accelerator and automatically stop and start reversing when you press your L button. If you turn that off, It will only stop when you press your brake and then you have to let up and brake again so if you go want to go forward it just you press you have to press it twice to move forward to brake and it will just break with your brake then you have to release and brake and then press again to brake right you got that I like it on trailer fill limit this one's um this one's tricky um, this uh, option I have a trailer here let's uh, let's just um, buy a um, oh we can't buy a silo I turned everything off so let's see do I have any crop let me uh, let me set this up all right trailer fill limit this one's interesting because um, off and on if you have it turned to off each trailer if we look at trailers has a capacity uh, 
2,400 liters, uh, 12,100 liters. Each trailer has a maximum capacity. Now, if you have trailer fill limit turned to off, it will mean no matter what you put in this trailer, it will fill to capacity. Now, if you turn that trailer fill limit to on, now that means each trailer has a weight capacity along with a volume capacity. What does that mean? Well, each each product weighs uh, has a different weight. Uh, wheat and oats are relatively light. For, say fertilizer, for example, is quite heavy. And if we fill this with fertilizer, I expect this one to actually stop before it's actually full. And let's see here. Uh, there we go. See? So we're at 87% and you're going to see that little lock symbol and max. That means the, um, the capacity, the weight capacity has been reached for this particular trailer and you will only be, be able to carry 7,029 liters of product uh, with that uh, t with that trailer fill limit turned on. Now this is going to be different for different trailers. Some will be able to carry uh, it, It's it's all kind of very uh, variable depending on the trailer. Now if you don't want that to happen you can just turn that off and now if we get in and come forward here we can now fill this trailer up to its maximum capacity of 8,000 liters without any usually without any problems or any issues now that of course also depends on the trailer but for the most part most trailers will handle maximum capacity of nearly everything right fuel loose fuel usage a low normal or high this is basically how much fuel your machinery consumes when being used now there I don't have a particular um, calculation or depending on the vehicle how big the vehicle is the fuel capacity etc etc but if you want to play realistic normal is probably normal or high is probably the two settings or if you don't want to ever have to refuel very often set it to low so that's basically very simple there uh, next we're going to get into AI workers this one you'll have to this is something you want to pay attention to um, if you use workers a lot AI workers refill fuel seeds fertilizer slurry and manure what does all this mean well let's go over here we have a tractor with a seeder now this seeder has seed in it and if we turn it on and lower lower and turn on unfold the seeder turn it on and drive forward and if you work it notice the seed is going down right but I have AI workers refill seeds and I have it set to buy everything set to buy here what does that mean well if you hire a worker and the worker starts seeding your field the seed uh, he is actually buying a seed directly to seed that crop the seed in your whatever implement in this case a seeder or this uh, this in this case a seeder uh, the seeds in the seeder itself is not going to be used up it will never go down your uh, the uh, the worker will be buying it at uh, base game prices or whatever price you have it uh, that that you have to buy seed at so basically um yeah <clears throat> the worker is gonna anytime you hire a worker so this is anytime you hire a worker to work a field and these settings are on buy the fuel that's used by the tractor will be purchased directly from the store and your and the fuel in your tractor will never run out the seeds will never run out fertilizer won't run out slurry or manure will run, won't run out so if you want those to to be off turn them to off and then now if you hire a worker 
the fuel will go down the seeds in your planter or cedar will go down be used up from the cedar and so forth so this is an important setting for those beginning and wondering why their money is going down so fast and their um, their cedar is still full of seeds and they seed a whole crop then that's why that's happening so um, there are a couple of other uh, items here now um, if you have cow barns or pig barns you will see an extra setting in here but that's for another that's for another video um, I will see if I can find that how, how to get workers to use the manure directly from your cow barn that's an interesting little extra um, option you can have there but if you don't have a cow barn or pig barn then that's not going to appear there but anyways hopefully that was helpful for the uh, game setting options thank you for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now <laughs>